This is a story about cancer and aging. It is exactly 10.35 a.m. on a Thursday. Now I'm going to start at the beginning, but I'm going to move fast. Here we go. You are made of cells, and those cells, like everything else on this planet, will eventually grow old and die. But before they do, your cells will make a few exact copies of themselves. This is called cellular division. There's a constant balance occurring in your body of cells dividing and then dying and dividing and then dying. And I've read statistics that in seven years, every cell in your body will on average have divided at least once. So the you of right now has physically nothing to do with the you of seven years from now. You're a completely different being. I don't know if the exact number is, is correct. I don't know about seven years, but the, the idea is fundamentally correct. Every cell in your body is constantly dividing and dying. Now, one of the signs of aging, as you grow older, sometimes your cells aren't able to divide as fast as they used to. That's why sometimes it takes a little bit longer to recover physically as you get a little older, because your cells just can't keep up like they used to when you were a kid. It takes a little bit longer to divide and create the cells that you need. And that's one of the reasons. There's a lot of reasons getting old is, is kind of tough. That's one. Still with me? You're made of cells, and as you grow older, sometimes you can't divide as quickly as you used to. Now, cancer is, by definition, the uncontrolled division of cells. These are cells that ha are able to ignore the normal checkpoints that your body has to keep cells dividing at a very controlled and even pace. And these are cells that have gone rogue. They're, they're eating all your glucose, and they're dividing as quickly as they can. Your, your body is saying, dude, dude, we've got enough of you, slow down. And these cells are able to ignore those signals and just continue to divide as quickly as they possibly can. And you get enough of those cells that have gone rogue, you get enough of those cells in a single spot, and you got a tumor. Uh, you start having those cells move to other areas of your body, and you got a serious problem. You want to hear something scary? Statistically, one of us will get cancer something like 45% over the course of an average lifetime. And I hope it's me, because I love you. And don't worry, I probably won't die. The treatment's getting better all the time. You want to hear something even scarier? You and I are almost getting cancer all the time. We are made, our bodies, we're made of a hundred trillion cells. And sometimes a, a tiny cog in this incredibly complex machine starts to misbehave. And that is why I wanted to make this video, because I learned in a class that I'm taking right now called Gene Expression, a way in which your body is protecting you from these cancers and these cells that are going rogue every day, all the time. Now, remember when I said that the cells in your body stop dividing as well as you get older? Hold that in your mind for just a moment. And your body is able to recognize when cells start looking a little rogue, start dividing a little too fast. Your body comes in through a phenomenon called oncogene-induced senescence. Your body comes in, finds these rogue cells, and instantly, almost magically, turns them super old. It turns the cancer cells old. It senesces them. That's literally the word that you use to describe it. And these are, these, the, they turn these cancer cells so old, they're no longer able to divide at all. All these cells have left to do is find some cellular retirement home where they can live the rest of their days out in peace, and then eventually die. Because a cancer cell that can't divide is hardly a cancer cell at all. And uh, that is how your body uses aging to its own advantage to protect you from cancer all the time. Because your body is awesome. Maybe getting old isn't so bad after all. I love you.